Hello, I'm Dr. Shanjay Kumar Rai. Today, the topic is McCune-Albright syndrome. The McCune-Albright syndrome is a genetic disorder due to somatic mutation and it is not inherited. As you know, the somatic mutation are not inherited, but instead it occurs during post-zygotic mitotic cell division. I repeat again, post-zygotic mitotic cell division at any point from embryonic development to late adult life. So it is not inherited and it is due to mutation of GNAS1 gene. What do you uh, mean by GNAS? Guanide, nucleotide, alpha, stimulating gene actually it is gene that encode the uh, g uh, stimulatory g protein couple uh, enzymatic uh, transduction system so the mutation of this gene is responsible for uh, mccune albright syndrome now the question is what is the uh, what are the clinical manifestation of mccune albright uh, syndrome at first the Clinical, uh, most important clinical uh, manifestation is skin pigmentation and this skin pigmentation is called cafe o late cafe o late uh, type of uh, pigmentation it is a french term the meaning of cafe o late is coffee with milk that is it is a bright brown type of pigmentation macules it is not it is macules not papules or others it is a macules type of uh, bright brown pigmentation and this pigmentation may be present from birth or it may uh, appear after birth at any time and this pigmentation is uh, of course permanent and it may grow in size and it is usually irregular in margin rag margin so what are the condition where cafe or late uh, found uh, Capio later found uh, in McCune Albright syndrome and another important uh, neurofibromatosis 1. So, neurofibromatosis 1 and McCune Albright syndrome, these two are the most important entity where uh, Capio late type of pigmentation are found. The number two clinical manifestation of this disease is uh, bone disorder, metabolic bone disorder, sorry, bone disorder that is called poly osteotic fibrous dysplasia fully osteotic fibrous dysplasia due to this uh, condition the patient present suffer from a multiple uh, fracture pathological fracture uh, followed by a stress related uh, fracture and due to uh, this pathological fracture patient uh, suffer from uh, bony pain at multiple site so bony pain at multiple site with a stress fracture another entity should be Paget disease. As you know, in Paget disease of bone, the patient age is more than 60 and here the same clinical manifestation but the age is very early age as because it is somatic mutation. So patient usually early age, around uh, 10 to 20 years or maybe earlier. So uh, by this uh, age, uh, you can differentiate the McCune Albright syndrome and Paget disease of bone. So, number three manifestation of this disease is endocrine dysfunction. The most important endocrine dysfunction with wh which the patient present is precocious puberty. What do you mean by precocious puberty? Precocious puberty is the puberty which occurs unusually earlier, where it should not be. Suppose uh, the puberty uh, occurs in a girl or a boy uh, uh, before 10 years. So, it, uh, it is precocious puberty. Others uh, endocrine dysfunction may be uh, hyperthyroidism, growth hormone, excess growth hormone or very rarely patient may be with Cushing syndrome. Cushing syndrome. Okay. So, these are the clinical manifestation of McCune's Albright syndrome. But these uh, three manifestation, look at here, number one the skin manifestation, number two bone manifestation and number three gland manifestation so uh, look at here ectoderm mesoderm endoderm all the derm, dermal layer of uh, 
in, uh, embryonic development are involved here. But for the diagnosis of McCune Albright syndrome, uh, only two or more than two of these three uh, clinical manifestations are required. Okay. So, how will you investigate the McCune Albright syndrome? The number one most important clinical uh, sorry, uh, investigation should be X ray of the affected bone, like femur or humerus or uh, pelvis where, uh, with, uh, where the patients suffer from pain or fracture. The typical x-ray finding is osteolytic lesion, mind it, osteolytic lesion, not sclerotic, osteolytic lesion with bone expansion, bone expansion. Uh, it, is a, it can be confused, is it a Paget disease of bone, Paget disease of bone? In Paget disease of bone, the X-ray finding should be alternating osteophenia and osteosclerotic lysis. Uh, yes, osteosclerotic lesion, osteosclerotic, escler, sclerotic lesion plus alternating uh, lytic lesion. In Paget disease of bone, the X-ray finding is alternating sclerotic lesion and lytic lesion and there bony expansion may be present. So this is the X-ray finding of McCune Albright syndrome and in bone scan, bone scan there will be increased focal update, uh, uptake. Uh, in case of uh, passive disease of bone there, there also uh, focal up, increased focal uptake in bone scan. So it, is confu it may be confused uh, to reach the diagnosis. But other, all other biochemical uh, features like uh, calcium, phosphate, uh, parathyroid hormone, vitamin D, uh, alkaline phosphatase, all these parameters are quite normal in McCune's Albright syndrome. Okay. Now, the most important and very near differential diagnosis should be Paget disease of bone. Okay, as because the present is a bone present with uh, multiple uh, uh, pathological fracture and uh, bone pain and a stress fracture, and uh, McCune's Albright syndrome also present with this. An investigation uh, more or less correlate with this uh, present is a bone. Now, how will you treat the McCune's Albright syndrome? The treatment uh, should be at first the management of pain by analgesic or uh, narcotics may be used. And the most important investigation of choice, sorry, uh, treatment of choice is intraven intravenous bisphosphonate, and this should be continued lifelong. Usually, it is uh, given a three month, three to six month interval. And uh, for the correction of ortho, um, uh, surgery, and uh, for, for the correction of uh, fracture or any other uh, bone deformity, or corrective orthopedic surgery may be needed. And for the endocrine problem like a precocious puberty, hyperthyroidism, growth hormone excess, or Cushing syndrome, uh, appropriate endocrine management should be needed. So this is all uh, about uh, McCune's Albright syndrome. And lastly, uh, here the spelling, the McCune, there is no space actually. The, it should be like this, McCune, C-U-N-E, okay, there is no space here, sorry. And <coughs> Sorry. And at last, uh, here is a picture uh, of a great uh, artist, <coughs> uh, Mauricio Saravia, uh, was an Uruguayan artist who was uh, suffered from McCune's Albright syndrome. So, with due respect of this great man and other all the people who are suffering from this disease, uh, it is ended the lecture. Hope this will, video will uh, be enjoyable for you and if you think uh, this med medical video is helpful for you, uh, you can or you may uh, subscribe my little channel. So thank you, thank you very much.